But if the game doesn't push you into those uncomfortable areas to kind of figure out what you did wrong or what you could do better, then, you know, you're going to just kind of, you know, face roll on it and then feel like, you know, you're, I guess, a god among men of gamers. You know, I'm the best gamer in the world. It's like, dude, hello, Kitty Island Adventure, uh, you know, does not have a deep learning curve. But like, oh, but, but I got those achievement points. <laughs> Screw you guys. I wish I was playing Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love the other aspect of that too with those like from soft titles or uh, like Baldur's Gate is another good example yeah. the challenge of it you either got to get good or get really clever and figure out how to be tricky and mm -hmm. like get around the game mechanics like Elden Ring you do the double uh, like stone shield you can't die it's amazing <laughs> like you walk like you walk you can't run but yeah. you can't die it's amazing there you go. There um, you go. Pro tip. Baldur's Gate 3, did you see the uh, Barrelmancy class video? No, I have not seen that one yet. <laughs> um, so a guy just collects all the explosive barrels he can find in the game. And oh, yeah. just creates a line throughout, uh, like, one of the first starting areas and just lights it and everything. Dies in one shot, and he's like, that's how you beat tactician mode. <laughs> that's awesome, man. What else, uh, what else have you been following? What else have you been playing right now? Lately, I've been playing a lot of Diablo 3 hardcore, okay. actually. And that's, uh, how do you feel about hardcore mode in games? Because I'm really upset at it right now. The, I think uh, I love it when games uh, give players the options, especially to kind of create their own fun. And then it's not a requirement. You know, like one of the things is like, would I step into a hardcore mode? I think yes. I think if I was answering honestly, it's like, yes. But there's got to be some kind of, you know, time availability because... The, uh, the risk in and of itself is like, oh, if I was just going to play, you know, through the game on my, you know, my first time on hardcore, well, I might not ever, you know, reach the end game or the story. And, yeah. you know, I might like, oh, I don't want to start all the way from start, you know, day one again. But I love that it exists because I like um, various different, especially in terms of content. Like when you think of speed running and you think of like, you know, yeah, if I die, my character's dead. It does create a lot of great viral moments. Like if you start to think about it in terms of also as a content creator, you know, it's like, oh, man, this this is an experience that I've had that is, you know, like that has an emotional kind of response because I've seen I've seen some of those go around where it's like, you know, guy gets up to go to the restroom, comes back and he's dead after 40 hours into his hardcore <laughs> run. And it's like, well, <laughs> better yeah, luck yeah. next time, dude. Get it. Get it started. I kind of do think uh, in terms of hardcore, that is one of the elements that I feel is missing within the MMO landscape where death yeah, ends up having a consequence some of them have tried a return to form some um, of them is have tried doing like a classic hardcore yes they are now? exactly and that's yeah, where yeah, yeah. that's where it's like again it's not going to be something that is like mass market appeal like every gamer is gonna like okay here we go but that's gonna have some value uh to to players and if there's enough demand there like it i think it makes a lot of sense for developers to support that and i would i for one would love to see that i think that ends up Again, like a game doesn't need to appeal to everybody, but sometimes it's like, oh, if you go, you know, a little bit further, you can actually offer something that, you know, uh, that people will get connected into. And I think difficulty is one is one way that people get attached to video games. Um, I definitely feel that sentiment, felt that sentiment. Then I started playing hardcore, and I'm pissed because now I can't go back to normal. Like, oh, how so? Talk to that. Die. I had two characters die, and I'm like, this is dumb. I'm just wasting time. <laughs> oh, like, all my shit's gone. So I start up normal mode, and I'm like, there, there's no consequence. I yeah. just walk into a mob of people and die and start, like, now I'm, like, itching for hardcore, and it's like, damn it, like, don't die. You're going to lose all your shit, and you're going to get mad, and you're just going to make a new character. What like, do you think about is it is that, that it has that addictive element? Because that's something, like <laughs> I talked about with Final Fantasy XI, where when you die, you could level down. And so there was a, mm -hmm. a real cost, and a, and a cost that you're like, it wasn't that... Uh, you know, hey, that level down, I'm going to get it, you know, back in the next two minutes. It's like, man, I got to form a party. It could take me an hour or two hours to make up for that loss. Why did I, yeah. why my hubris, man? <laughs> I think it's a little bit of that. Uh, I won't pull the slot machine, see if I win big. Oh, yeah. Know? What but, do you uh, win big on a hard tournament? Risk mentality. Nothing. There, I was looking at <laughs> Not a, a forum last night. I was like, does Diablo 3 hardcore mode like any armor or like maybe, uh, bonus xp nothing just permadeath that's it nice but now like going back to normal the effect of hardcore is kicked in it's like 
so there's no consequence here now i don't really care so i gotta go back to the hardcore mode to actually like want to improve and want to get better and feel that risk again you know yeah, what i mean i hear what you mean um but it's funny because like hardcore call of duty i think sucks you know so talk i haven't played the hardcore call of duty like what does that look like because so that's like a mini map uh one shot kills you instead oh, okay. of like a couple so it's more like realistic mm-hmm. um you that can kill your sounds teammates way better <laughs> uh, it's fun until there's like people running around with like the one shot guns and like you just fall over and die from someone across the map and you oh, got yeah. no radar. So you can't tell where it came from. Mm-hmm. Um, then your teammates are assholes and throwing grenades and killing you. Yeah. Hardcore <laughs> call of duty is not fun. Oh, well, maybe that's just also the, the community around the call of duty game.